Hey Soul Fam, Amelia Adir here. I hope you are feeling good and doing good. I'm feeling good, I'm doing good. And you know I got a great topic for you. Mm -hmm. It's heating up, it's heating up. For those that are new to the channel, welcome. We welcome you on this channel. We heal, we elevate, we grow, we work on being better versions of ourselves than we were yesterday. And in order to be a part of the Soul Fam, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and apply, apply the knowledge. Now let's get down to some things, so fam. Let's talk about three safe topics to discuss while dating, okay? We're gonna talk about the early stages, okay? We're gonna get into some things. So one great thing to, to discuss when you're first dating and you're in the early steps is the number one is what do you do for fun, okay? This one is a given, but we're gonna address it because we have to talk about things that we actually do for fun, okay? And if we don't do anything for fun, so fam, we have to start finding things to do for fun. So there's hiking, there's crafting, there's writing, there's reading. There's so many things that you can get into and you wanna start to discuss why you do those things for fun to really get the conversation going. When you first start dating and you're having these blissful moments and you're just excited and you're just like, ooh, you want to really get to connect with someone and create great conversation so that it can be sparked okay so say you say i love hiking because it helps me feel liberated right then you know this is just an example but then you guys can talk about liberation it may spark some ideas in your mind or his mind or her mind and vice versa that can really get into some deep conversation now you don't want to get too deep Okay, you want to get just deep enough where you can giggle, laugh, and create a great moment. All right, let's get to some more things. So fam, let's talk about another great thing to discuss when you're dating. So this one is one of my faves because it allows you to kind of create future plans with each other without creating them. And that's discussing places you've either been or places you want to go. Okay, it's really important to talk about places you want to go because this person is going to be able to visualize themselves with you, right? They're gonna they're gonna see like, wow, she 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 or he is fun and wants to do new things, and we all love new things, so fam. And so it is great to kind of research places that you may really want to go and have that conversation with this new friend that you are dating. Okay, Th these are conversations that you should have while you are dating don't rush to have these conversations on the phone okay the phone is different but when you're in person it really allows you to connect with that someone it really allows you to feel their energy feel their presence and this is important while dating because it's allowing you guys to see if you are a great match right maybe you like the warm weather and they like the warm weather too so great you'll start to connect off of those things and having those conversations in person is more genuine. Sometimes we're rushing for love and we're just so excited and we're ready. And we have to be mindful that it's not a race. It's not a rush. You do not want to be overlooking. You do not want to be missing anything. And you guys want to really make sure that you like each other. Because if you like the warm and they like the cold, then there's gonna be some climate situations where we're living, okay? Someone's gonna always want the air conditioner on, someone's gonna always want the heat on. So, I mean, that's minor. Somebody could put on pants and a sweatshirt. But still, so fam, it's about seeing where you guys can really connect and thrive with one another and how you can really create some great memories, some great times, some great stories, and a great life, okay? Some great love, okay? Love is something that you can feel when you're around someone. Love is something that you can embrace based off the way they can just flow with you and understand you and communicate with you and is excited to be with you, okay? We don't want to have someone just to say we have someone. We want mutual excitement when we're with each other. If there's no mutual excitement, one person is going to feel like I'm doing too much. And then they're going to start getting in their head. Then they're going to start... It's gonna, it's gonna get, it's gonna go too wild. You're gonna be like, Billy, that's not, that's not what we're doing here, okay? So make sure that this person is someone that really makes you laugh, 
back. Really looks good on your arm, meaning they just happy to be with you. They just kind of melt into you kind of thing. So let's get into another great topic to discuss while dating. Another great topic to discuss while dating is weekly successes. So then this is number one. If you made it to this point in the video, you are going to win, you are going to succeed, you are really going to put the cherry on top of the cake, okay? Because you're gonna be discussing your weekly successes. Now this is important to discuss while dating because one, you're not gonna be dating every day. Two, when you get to that date, it's going to be like a nice midpoint, a nice stopping ground, a nice reflection moment and it allows you to express your joy with that individual. This is one of the things that people overlook with dating and, and really hinder their relationship because they're not paying attention to the individual when they're expressing their joy. When you're expressing your joy to someone, that person should feel joy as well. You should see joy on their face as much joy as you have on their face. If someone is not excited about your joy, hmm, they just see you as a toy. Ooh, okay, so we have to make sure, we have to be mindful, okay? So then we have to be mindful that this individual that we're trying to have a relationship with and grow with is excited about your joy. And I've learned that when someone is excited about your joy, they're going to want to continue to have you in that joyful state. When someone is not excited about your joy, Sophia, do I have to say it? Okay, okay. If someone is not excited about your joy, something is missing there. This person that you're trying to build love with is trying to build love, which is happiness and positivity and everything under the sun they need to be exuding that when you're exuding that. And if they are not exuding that, they may not have joy within themselves. See, sometimes we run into people that are out of joy, out of love, out of happiness, and just there because they're bored. You do not want to be there because someone is bored or vice versa, right? So you want to just make sure that this individual that you're trying to spend time with and grow love with and have a relationship with has joy to give and give and take, reciprocate, okay? Yeah, so you wanna make sure that that is a characteristic that's not overlooked. This is something we can't sleep under the rug, okay? We could, we could, we could, we could sweep gum chewing really loud under the rug, okay? If they chew gum really loud, we could deal with that, right? But if they don't have joy, it's not your job to give it to them. Sometimes we meet someone that don't have joy and we're trying to be their joy. No, 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 no. Get you some coaching, get you some courses, do what you have to do because I'm not here to be entertainment for you. And we have to be stern with that and we have to love ourselves a lot more. We have to love ourselves a lot more and understand our worth. And we're not here, men or women, okay? We're not here to be someone's monkey in the zoo. Hmm. Okay? And if someone wants you to be their monkey in the zoo, next, next, next with pride, okay? All right, so fam. If you ever want to book a session with me, my details are always below. If you need a good book to read, 77 Pieces of Poetry is available on Amazon. If you need a free guide to figure out which places in your life you need to heal or rebuild, Amelia Online Academy is available. My details are below. Click on the link and see where it'll take you, and I'm sure you'll find some peace. Okay? Find some peace that you're looking for. All right, so fam, Amelia Adir here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video brings you some peace, some clarity, some love, some abundance, some elevation, mm, some celebration. All right, so fam, Amelia Adair here. Thank you once again, and I'm going to see you at the next one. Bye for now.